smaller. So we're going to go to the track motion icon of the track and I'm going to uh, make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to also make the text a little bit smaller. So let's say that we are going to uh, make the text fit in the logo. I think this one looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do then is let's say that you are done. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 that it qualifies your wants and needs because you need to be sure about your logo as well. And let's say that if you want to save this logo as a PNG file so it doesn't have a background just like this one. So also the subscribe button down below. I make sure to share this video. You can find the click the tweet link in the description. So it will be posted on your Twitter page right away. And I would say, let's get started. So as you can see right now, we are going to use a Vegas Pro 14. I'm not gonna use Photoshop, Paint or any other programs other than Vegas 14. And I'm gonna show you guys how to create a really nice logo. Now I want to mention that my logo, the G, the A and the H uh, are created by someone else in Photoshop. I had that logo made for me by someone else. So I cannot show you guys how it's done, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really nice advanced logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with text. So we're going to click on media generators and we are going to scroll down until we find titles and text. We're going to drag that on top of our timeline as you can see and then it brings up this little box where we can where we can customize all the text obviously. But what I want to do is when we want to have a black outline it doesn't really work on a black background. So I'm going to go ahead and go to media generators and I'm going to go ahead and look for, for something like that is a solid color. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go scroll down to the S until we find a solid color, as you can see, and we're going to pick red for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna drag the text on top of our red ba uh, background. So when we are done, we're going to remove the red background and we will render this out as a transparent image. So we only have the logo. So what we're gonna do then, first of all, is we're gonna uh, click on the event, well, on just on this little icon, as you can see, that says generate media then what we're gonna do is I'm going to type in the initials of my name just Alex Halford that, that is J A H so I'm gonna type in J A H obviously and of course we're gonna use a different font because the standard one is not really that professional or that advanced either so what we're gonna do is we're going to look for an awesome font that we are going to use so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep scrolling until I found a really nice one I think this one looks pretty cool and we are going to use this font now I'm gonna make the text a little bit bigger because we want the logo to be the best quality possible so well right now I'm going to just do that then what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, click on generated media again I'm going to change the color of the text to yellow because I want to simulate my existing logo. I'll, th I'll throw it up on the screen, that one. So we're gonna go to outline for this one and we are going to create a dark blue outline. I think that one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to make sure that I will pick dark blue. As you can see, this one looks very tight, make the outline look uh, a little bit thicker. So as you can see, this looks really amazing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna type in symbols and we're gonna and look for something really cool that will fit this logo. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we are on Google and I just typed in symbols. And right now I'm going to just go ahead and look for some really cool symbols that we can use. I'm going to look for images that will make it look a lot better. I think this image looks pretty cool. Let's say that we will try to download this image as a PNG. Uh, I don't think that's going to work because it has a background, but we can remove that uh, in Photoshop, but I'm not gonna use Photoshop for this video, like I said and we're gonna just use Vegas. So I'm gonna type in symbols P and G. Now that we have all kinds of symbols right here, uh, we're going to look for something that will make it look really tight. Now you can also use a crown, you can use this kind of icon, you can use a triangle, uh, you can use anything, but I would let's say that we're going to pick this icon. This one looks pretty cool. We're gonna right click on it, uh, click on uh, save. I'm gonna save that to the folder. There we go. Now we're gonna go back to Vegas Pro 14 and I'm going to drag in that logo. Now what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to drag it underneath it, put the red background as the bottom one. Now as you can see it looks pretty cool, the icon, but let's say that we're going to click on event pan crop, uh, click on right, right click on here and pick, click on flip vertical. I think this one looks pretty cool guys. So let's say that we are going to put this one 
a little bit on the center like so i don't i don't think i don't know if you guys think this logo looks cool so let's go back to google and let's find another uh kind of nice symbol okay we're back on google and i think this icon looks pretty cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to find a png version this one is a png i'm going to click on save image as save it to the folder go back to vegas pro 14 and drag in the image i'm going to drag in uh the uh, image that we just downloaded and i think Okay, this doesn't work at all. Let me find another one. Okay, guys, so I just dragged in uh, this image and I think this image looks pretty cool, but we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go to the track motion icon of the track and I'm going to uh, make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to also make the text a little bit smaller. So let's say that we are going to uh, make the text fit in the logo. I think this one looks pretty cool. So what we're gonna do then is let's say that you are done and that you are happy with this logo. Uh, what I would recommend also when you're making a logo is make sure that the logo is fully, that it qualifies your wants and needs because you need to be sure about your logo as well. And let's say that if you want to save this logo as a PNG file so it doesn't have a background just like this one, what you can do is you can also change the color of the blue. As you can see the blue, I don't know what kind of it is. It looks like a kind of a, like a feather and a bow. So we're gonna go to video effects and we're going to pick color corrector secondary we're gonna drag that on top of the uh, the icon and as you can see we can also change the color as you can see so let's say that you want to make it match with the text uh, you can just look for the color yellow I don't know where it is I'm just going to keep it on blue because I think that looks really cool the saturation you can also choose you know to uh, bring that up or not the gamma that is going to make it brighter or not you can also you know change up the gain uh, the offset that's going to make it like white or black it doesn't really matter just what you want and the alpha is just you know the opacity I think so now you can also go to custom you can also choose the color of the feather so I think this one looks pretty tight I'm going to just keep it on blue because I think that one looks the best so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete the red background and we're gonna save this image as a as a, without a black background so we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to click on save snapshot and I'm, I'm going to make sure that you pick PNG then what you want to do is you just want to call this logo save it in the folder where you want it and if I go to the folder and open it, as you can see right here, we have the logo. And the logo is obviously with a, with a uh, transparent background, so you won't see it. And this is basically how to do it, guys. That's how to create an awesome and also an, a very advanced logo. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for the continued support. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And Wednesday with a new Vega 14 tutorial, which is going to be a really, really advanced one. So make sure to stay tuned. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.